Troy Hickox from uh, Galaxy Entertainment Group in Hong Kong and Macau. We're predominantly uh, casino and integrated resort developers uh, and operators, uh, one of the largest in the world. Uh, and we're here uh, looking for uh, new franchises, new restaurant concepts that we can bring back into Asia, uh, either in Macau or, uh, or wherever we're expanding next. Yeah, I think it's the opportunity to get, uh, get in contact with so many people, uh, so many franchise uh, owners or uh, uh, chefs or uh, uh, other culinary groups that are looking to grow into Asia. Uh, we're looking for a first mover advantage with some of these uh, some of these brands. We want to be the first to bring them back into uh, our region. Um, and this is a nice opportunity, I think, to meet uh, a lot of them in one spot. Well, we, we build integrated resorts, so uh, we, we, we have hundreds of restaurants. Uh, so we're looking for everything, everything from, uh, from fine dining down to uh, fast casual uh, and everything in between. We would be, I mean, we're, we're specifically focused on Macau now, but uh, certainly uh, in the years going forward we're looking at growing into uh, uh, other markets around the Asian region and building more integrated environments. So again we need lots and lots of operators uh, uh, and brands. I think look, uh, our investment mostly uh, focuses on, on driving uh, business around the integrated resort environment. So um, I think uh, uh, we're in a type of model where uh, we're quite willing investors. We're really looking for creativity and uh, uh, someone to bring uh, something new uh, and something uh, differentiated from what we already have. Unfortunately, that was filmed in a car park somewhere, <laughs> somewhere in uh, in LA. But uh, uh, look, maybe with the amount of development we have going in Macau, that environment may may soon exist. I'm sort of sure someone took that idea and. Uh, <laughs> All right, so he, is he really go over? He's like, oh. No, you know, it's funny. It's the first Bond movie that's been filmed in Macau that that uh, actually wasn't in Macau. All the prior Bond movies that feature Macau, we're in Macau. <laughs> I think we, we, we tend to look at what's happening in the US, um, a little bit in the, in the UK and, uh, and maybe Western Europe uh, to see where the trends are going to, uh, uh, to follow in Asia. Uh, and I think uh, in the past we've usually been somewhere between five to ten years behind and now that, yeah, that gap is narrowing. Uh, so now we're seeing within maybe two to five years uh, a lot of those, those trends already flowing into Asia and those brands flowing into Asia. Um, so that's quite interesting to watch. The other way around, um, I think there are, I think particularly in our environment, in the casino environment, uh, which obviously is, uh, is, is heavily uh, patronized by, uh, by, by the Asians, uh, a lot of those casinos in other environments are taking Chinese restaurant brands. Uh, um, but I think in the US in particular, and in the UK, you're finding a lot of Asian brands or Asian chefs have, have actually left, gone overseas, built a brand, and now bringing it back to Asia. Uh, that's kind of interesting. So I think uh, um, you're seeing opportunities both ways. Uh, chefs moving into into the in, in, into the, uh, the more developed markets, and Asian chefs in developed markets coming back into Asia. I think uh, uh, not for us specifically in the Middle East, uh, only because we tend to need a casino component. But uh, um, what is interesting is to see uh, again what that that gap in trends is between the U.S. and the U.K to the Middle East because it's not too dissimilar from the gap between uh, uh, the US, the UK and Asia. Um, so I think uh, you know, the, the path to, to, uh, to development and following those trends is mirrored, I think, uh, between the Middle East and, uh, and where we come from.